Hello there, I am Giant Grodor, and I have another unboxing video for you guys. Okay, so I got a card reader for my um, laptop because my Asus current laptop that's silver uh, doesn't have an SD card reader, of course. And my Asus black laptop that I used from like 2012 to 2014, it had a um, it had an SD card reader. <laughs> so um, you know my newest Asus laptop that I'm currently using from 2014 to with the rest of 2014 from that time from my other laptop to now 2017 and present going on to present yeah I doesn't have an SD card reader so that I got one of these at um my uh, local recycle um computer parts store so yeah it's USB 2.0 right there because I uh, don't have a I don't have any USB USB points uh USB ports that are um 3.0 Hopefully when I buy my next computer, which I don't know when that'll be because I like my new current one, I'll get 3.0 for sure because I know it's like some capture cards only do work on 3.0 USB ports, you know. But luckily I have an Elgato, um, which is actually down there if I can just point out it. That's right there. It's covered with a bunch of cords though. You can see, you can see my Switch dock too. <laughs> okay. And my Wii. Yeah, so it's my Elgato's down there. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Okay, you see it there. Okay. Can't really see it that well, but it's down there, covered with all the cords. Now I have to, now I have to somehow, like, uh, you know, line up my camera again, like that. That should do it. Okay. So, and also, I got a SanDisk SD card. Uh, it's SDXC, which I don't know what the XC uh, part stands for, but it's 64 gigabytes. I did the math, and according on the back, it says, um, 64 gigabytes, a thousand, four thousand photos, or 80, 80 minutes to third power. So I did eight, 80 to third minutes, and I was like, 80 to third power, and um, it was a big number. And when I did the calculations with my mom in the car, on the way home from buying this camcorder, which we'll get to in a second, um, it yeah, it was like 355 days worth of. Uh, recording time, which is pretty crazy. I don't know if it's that much, but it's supposed to be a lot. I remember my Sony Web HD camcorder, which I'm using to film this um video with. Um, yeah, it ha I have an eight, have eight gigabyte um uh, memory stick, and it recorded up to like eight hours of video, at least on um the regular VGA format, not any of the HD formats. So, but right now I'm recording the HD format. I think I'm pretty sure once I changed it. Oh well. So yeah. So I'm gonna be unboxing that in a second, okay? So I'm gonna move these two off to the side. I'm gonna move them off to the side so we can't even see them in the frame. Come on, there we go. So as you may have known by watching some of my videos or just following up with my videos, my Sony Web HD camcorder screen, my LCD screen broke internally, so I can't see anything out of it except like a little gap of the left side um, because it's broken internally from the inside. So I can only use it in my room, basically, where I can use my TV as a display using the component cables that connect my camera to my TV, my HD TV. That's the Sharp brand, I guess you could say Sharp, yeah. So, I, um, this camcorder was pretty expensive. I think I paid, like, $300 for it, plus, um, 70 or to $80 of the Geek Squad to, um, for three years to, like, you know, protect it from, or can replace it from the battery going bad or the, um, damage or stuff like that, spills. So that's pretty cool. So it's the Canon VIC, VIX VIXA, I should say, FF, or not HF, my bad, R800. And it has pretty cool stuff. It's um, MP4 format, just like my Sony Web HD camcorder was. It has an HDMI cable, so I can plug it into my HDMI port on my TV. I don't have to use component now. That's pretty cool. Um, basically right here, um, I don't know if you can see that well. Yeah, I can't really see it that well with the lighting. But there's a bunch of text here. If I hold it up like that, yeah, there you go. Bunch of text, cool. Uh, HDMI, it says NTCS right here in the, right there. So that's pretty cool. Back of it, it's just cool stuff, I guess. You can see, it's a touch of what's in the box, I guess. And then right here, yeah. The side of the box, okay. So we're gonna open up this bad boy. And on the top, it's um this, the yeah. v Vixa. Vixia HF R800. I'm gonna have to get used to saying that. It's so much harder right now for me, at least, saying uh, that than Sony Web BHD camcorder. I mean, that's so much easier to say. Okay, so I'm gonna open the tab up here. I have both hands actually, so let me just do that. Okay. 
I'm gonna point it downwards. My camera downwards a little bit. There we go. Ah, there we go. Okay. So when you open up the box, you know, this looks like the manual and the, um something with the paperwork. But here's the manual. It's pretty cool. It's not very thick, but it's kind of thick for a um you know camcorder. Okay. Um, right here you have this big wall, I guess. That's red. We can just get it out there. Um, hmm. Right here, right here. Okay. Let's open that up. Okay. Okay, we gotta get, um, this bubble wrap, okay. Um, I guess this is the camcorder right here. So we'll put that to the side actually right now. I'm gonna unbox it all real quick. Okay, right here is, um, the USB cable that plugs in from your computer, so that's pretty cool. This is your um, HDMI cable. It's rather, I don't, I think it's like 3 feet, 4 feet if I had to guess. So yeah. Move the camera over that way, that would get cool. Okay. Um, what else do we have here? We have, ooh, the charger, I like the charger. It looks like, it reminds me of like the size of a Nintendo Game Boy Advance SP charger. Like it's, really, if I can put that into perspective. Um, here is my phone. My phone's right here. Um, it's smaller than it's about maybe the size of my screen of my phone, really. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's put that aside. I'm guessing that's the charger. I'm hoping it is because it should come with a charger. I think that's it for the box. Wait, no, there's still the battery right here. Which um, Sony OVH HD camcorder didn't come with a battery. It didn't really have a, need to have a battery, so I'm gonna have to put that in. I guess that's the charger battery right here. That's pretty cool. So there's the box, I'm gonna move that over here, okay. So, um, we can start by unboxing the favorite thing, the camcorder itself. It has a little tag on it, cool, okay. By the way, I got this from Best Buy. I got my camcorder from Best Buy. Ooh, yeah. It's like a, this handle for my palm, like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I keep that tag on there just in case. But like the side, it's pretty cool. 55, uh, 57 octo X time optical zoom, uh, advanced zoom, I should say. But and mine's five times on my Sony Rich camcorder. I'm gonna be comparing the specs to my Sony Rich camcorder to my Canon, uh, Vixia, Vixia, um, HF R800 HD camcorder. <laughs> the um, the zoom in and zoom out is, uh, wheel or scroll is a lot better because like, um, it's like it won't get stuff stuck in it as easily as the Sony Rich camcorder because I was like a Groove or a little gap, you know. Um, oh, yeah, it has a lens cover. That's awesome. Look at that. It's pretty cool. It's nice. That's very nice. Uh, in fact, I want to see the letters too. So let me put on my plate. See, like you can see the letters there. If it'll focus. See, Canon HD video lens. And 32 times zoom. Um, 2-8-89-6mm, I believe, 1 colon 18, come on, focus, you get to focus anymore, oh man, you can't get to focus anymore, huh, well, I'm gonna read the last letters, it's, um, it's like a little uh, circle with a line through it. There we go. And a 43, as you can see right there. I am really bad with um, keeping the camera still, literally, when I'm filming it. Okay, so, um, I guess the battery goes right here. If I can show that off. Yeah, there we go. I turn off my light, actually. There we go. Okay, so I can't really see it as much, so it kind of stinks. But, um, I'm just trying to keep my light on then. So if I, turn, if I open this up like that, Nothing happens because it doesn't have a battery and it's not charged yet. So I think I have to charge this baby. So that kind of stinks, but yeah. It's a touch screen. It's three inches um, diagonally, which is really cool. Yeah. Can't show my face on YouTube. Sorry. You saw my haircut though. My hair, how my hair, how short my hair is. <laughs> okay. So um, right here is the on and off button right here. The playback button, which is similar to the um, Sony Rich Kim Koi's, um playback button. It was on the back though. Like this part. Was every, all the buttons were on this part, um, and then, uh, yeah, it was uh, like a silver button that you pushed. 
kind of hurt your finger if you pushed it too hard, honestly. Um, I think there's a headphone jack right there. And a mic. So I can hook up like a wired mic or something, which is pretty cool, actually. Um, let's see here. Um, HDMI out right there. You, that's where the USB plug is into. And, yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, this little port, this little thing right here is where you put the memory stick, I think. Because it says, um, SD card, press the nozzle to air it open, push to eject, come on, there we go, okay, push to eject, okay, um, there's this little button right here, this is push to inject, it's not doing anything, you know, I have to do that later, I guess it's like that little arrow show showing you that just flick the um, thing, yeah, just flick away this little gap is right here, and then flick like that, and, and close it just to that. And just close your camcorder. So there we go. Here's the record button right here. So yeah. Um, power charging light indicator. And then access when it's on, I guess. is when the Access means when it's on. It's a really nice looking camcorder overall. Um, here's the bottom. Um, it has holes on it, which I really wanted because like this they like can screw it in my tripod with my HD uh, my where my um Sony will be HD camcorder is recording now actually, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, and then um battery release is right here. So you can lose the battery I guess. We're pushing down on that. I think that's about it, so I'm gonna put this to the side. It's a really cool camera. Okay, so um let's open up the battery I guess. Yeah. Okay. So it's a really, you know, um, basic battery, I guess. It's a Canon brand, of course. So if you didn't see the logo on the camcorder, there it is right here. Canon. Yep, there we go. Okay, so um, I think we just slide this baby in. I think we just do it like that. So let me try if I can do it. Let me see if I can do that. Okay, I have to match up with these little metal parts. So if I just... Push it up. I don't want to break it honestly, accidentally. Um, maybe if I push this down and then slide it up. So push it down and then slide it up. There we go. And if I open it up, yeah. Fix the, uh, you didn't want to see it that well. But yeah. Charge the battery pack. Okay. I'm going to turn off the, um, yeah, just turned off my mic because you have to charge it. But there's the battery. Um, I'm gonna have to get used to a battery sticking out of the back of my camcorder because like, I didn't have to do that with the Sony OVH camcorder. That's pretty cool. It still looks pretty cool. I, I love the um, palm size uh, strap, you know? So I can just film like this, you know, keep my camera steady. Yeah. It also says Canon on the wrist thing. Wrist strap. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so here is the, um, here's the charger. Pretty cool. Totally reminds me of that speed charger, really. Jeez, even how it, like the outlet plug goes like right there, totally reminds me of that speed, SP, Game Boy Advance SP charger, you know? So let me just um, untie this, I guess. Don't need the twist tie, but I'll, I'll probably keep the twist tie, so I bang my tripod with the battery pack of the charger thing. I don't know. Something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna just put it over there. Oh man, I got something tangled, didn't I? I got something tangled. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this on the battery with my outstrip right there. I have to reach over my camera. Come on. Okay. So like, um, the same way which the camcorder charger plug was, um, just like a plug like that. In fact, it's, I'm charging the camera on, on outlet mode right now to record this video. But it's right there. I can just go up a little bit. It's right next to... It's right, it's like almost touching the battery pack right there. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let me zoom back out. Okay. That's cool. So yeah, but it's a little bit more bulky, so I probably won't be doing um, recordings. Well, most I can avoid, no, not that, the big bulkiness, you know, of the battery pack charger. To, um, you know, hit the anything important during my recordings. And if this video, um, if this camcorder does record over 25 minutes and does like at least record up to an hour or so or so, I'd probably do a more DS Let's Play, 3DS Let's Play since I don't have a 3DS capture card, but I have a 3DS cam, I have a camcorder, I have two actually now. So yeah, maybe. 
It's just that I hate having a time limit on my recording time of, you know, my Sony if she came recorded. So hopefully this thing records more than 35 minutes at a time. So I'm trying to find on the back where it plugs into. Oh, it's right here on the, yeah, it's right here on the side. Right, right there. Okay, there we go, I found it. Okay, just want to show it off. Plugged it in, and it's a big red light um, sign that's charging right there. Let's move away the camera. There we go. That's the focus a little bit. It's focusing right there, as you can see the cord. So in the background, while that's charging, I'm gonna move on to this thing, I guess. Okay. So uh, move all this to the side. This is the um. USB cord, I guess. USB cable, I mean, not USB cord. Um, yeah. And just untie this stuff. Because I always wanted to try to get a Canon brand camcorder, now I actually get one. Should be nice. So yeah. I want to see how this records like 3DS screens because I'm really curious about what the quality will look like. I made this. I made. I made a spot this camera camcorder for like a vlog and stuff because I want to do vlogs. Hopefully there'll be a vlog tomorrow, depending on if I put this on Friday. If I put this on Friday, there'll be a vlog. Probably tomorrow, if I can get all edited and recorded. And then if it's up on Saturday, it'll probably be a vlog later on if I can get edited and recorded. But I'm gonna I'm basically do like a vlog on how to what we do on our regular day at Super Nintendo, guys. I think it's the same USB little port thing right there, or USB plug. Uh, I could probably use the same one for my old camera, I can port it to my new one. So uh, if I just um, grab this, I guess. I don't want to open it without like, but it basically just went plugging into that USB part of the port. So yeah, I'm gonna actually keep it like that actually, nice. I don't know how to get rid of, how to open up the lenses though, but I'll figure that out hopefully soon. Maybe when it turns on or something it opens them up. I don't know, that'd be cool if it did automatically. So uh, last but certainly not least in the uh, camcorder unboxing part of this video is just um, um, HDMI cable. So, HDMI cable, I'd say that's about maybe two feet, honestly, two and a half feet. Um, it's really not that long. I mean, bunched up like this, it's like this long. I can just bunch it up like that. Which doesn't really, it's not that long feet wise, so that's okay. So I might have a restrictions with that. But I can also use a different um, HDMI cable, I think, as long as these are both the same size, same size of plugs. Yeah, like the same, like the same plugs. Well, nope, they're not. Look, one's bigger than the other right there. Okay, so I have to use this one, which kind of stinks. I got a knot. Dang it. Okay, I got another knot. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. I was kidding. I'm walking in the hill. Okay, so um, next we got the card reader, I guess you could say. So uh, this actually, I bought this because like. I forgot that you can also hook it up to your USB, but just in case I have to like, yeah, for my school cameras and my film making class right now, I, I, they use SD cards and I don't have a um, SD card reader for my computer. I don't have the, like the USB plugs for the plug it into the computer really, because they're like higher quality cameras, I guess. So it just looks like this. So if I just um, untie it like this, that'd be great. That'd be great. Okay, let's put that right there. Okay, I banged my camera, camcorder, dang it, I banged the tripod, I banged the camera again. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. Yeah, so that's the USB port, USB cable of that port. And then if I look, if I, um, go right here, just move this. Here's the, um, SD card reader. Like, there's a lot of slots there, actually. I was holding it upside down actually, yeah. So there's like micro SD, SD, and then SD, probably SD high capacity. Probably my kind of SD card. And then, um, what the heck is this part, this half we're gonna do? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, um, 
model e model ext um, 103 um, cw i okay i'm not going to read all that that's kind of boring okay so um the front looks like this so that's pretty cool just as all in one basically so i'm glad i got that yeah and finally i want to open up the sd card um so yeah here's the back pretty cool 64 gigabytes as i said before sandex brand um yeah perfect for high quality high megapixel cameras and hd camcorders which is what i have uh you know canon v uh vixia um rf hf i mean uh r800 i'm gonna have to get used to saying that name Jeez, okay, so I'm gonna open this up. I'm just gonna like peel. Well, although, um, I think it just. You go like right here. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just uh, do this. Well, I can't actually. Dang it. I have to actually peel it. Gosh, why they make this strong packaging because I can't seem to get it. Okay, huh. oh, that didn't do much. How are you supposed to open this really without trouble? God, this is like. Can you just make it easier? Okay, maybe I'll open oh, some scissors or something. Yeah, I'm gonna put my camera there. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna cut around the SD card. Hopefully that'll help. So as I'm cutting around the SD card, yeah. Maybe that's, maybe that's enough. Yeah, okay, there we go. See, I had to cut around the SD card because it was in such great packaging, which is good, but like, the average bear couldn't do this. Um, yeah. Okay, and then, yeah, just another plastic thing. So, um, oh man, it fell. It fell. It fell, it fell, it fell. But right here it is. Without further ado, where's that? Focus. Yeah, okay. There we go, I saw the light on. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So I'm gonna add that to my camcorder when it's done charging. So yeah, this has been the unboxing video. I'm sorry that's been like 24 minutes long. But, uh, this has been Jonko again. I'm happy with my camcorder. Hope to see you. Hopefully, a vlog will come tomorrow. My first vlog of 2017 and first vlog ever. So, yeah, with that said, I like my camcorder, as I said. Um, I like everything I got, like the SD card reader and the memory card, the SD card, and my camcorder, especially. Um, it's about time I got a new camcorder. I have this, I've had my Sony Bridge camcorder for like eight years now. So, it's about time to. And it's, and it's screen broke internal, internally, as I said before. So yeah, I did replace it, I guess. So yeah, this has been Jonko again. I would like to thank you for watching again. Goodbye, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.